you will not see a more random, strange, dynamic, exciting, odd, wild film ever in your life. There's a lion, there's a wolf, I think there's a deer, there's a bear, there's a guy that rides a chariot with fires around him. Um, R, R, R. You see, I kept hearing about this because I think I was watching, it was, it was double toasted. And one of the guys said, bro, you have to watch this RRR film. I said, oh, because I kept seeing it on Netflix. I was like, okay, what is this film? Blah, blah, blah. So Netflix. Um, and then I said, okay, let me just watch it. But then as well as watch it, I was like, okay, this is pretty crazy. Then I, I want to just press pause, you know. I was like, three hours? I was like, oh my God, three hours. Because again, I don't really watch many Bollywood films or many Indian films. I was like, man, the Guys, let me tell you this right now. Sets apart three hours in your day and please watch this film you will not see a more random strange dynamic exciting odd wild film ever in your life it is just it is one of the and bro three hours you you do not feel the length at all you do not feel the length of those three hours at all it goes by like like, like a freaking breeze man and um, Like, okay, let me just explain just the, the, the general plot. Because it's actually a very exciting film. So this is set, I believe, in 1920. And you have... Um, and it's where basically <laughs> Queen Lizzie, the, the British Empire, basically... This is when they're now occupying India. And this girl called Mali gets taken from her village. And then the village leader, which is her, her brother or the shepherd, called Beam, I believe... He is now um, deemed to now go out and actually try to rescue her. But he is now being haunted by another guy who is Indian and native to, 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 to the land. I believe his name is Raju, who works as an officer for the British Empire. And he's now been tasked to now try to track him down and find this guy who is trying to find this girl, Mali. So it's sort of like... the them you know coming to together and so forth but then what you now find is that um they somehow they become friends so i'll leave it there so, so, so because i think they end up saving a boy they now become friends and so forth but they don't know about each other so the the village guy doesn't know that this guy was for the british government and the british government's guy doesn't know that this is the guy who he's actually trying to chase and find for the british empire um, so I'll leave it there because I don't want to spoil things for you. But guys, man, um, <laughs> guys, there's a lion, there's a wolf, I think there's a deer, there's a bear, there's a guy that rides a chariot with fires around him, there are bow and arrows, there's a guy who lifts up a motorcycle and throws a motorcycle at freaking dudes, um, there's a guy who flips over some barbed wire and there's a guy who's literally fighting hundreds of guys because he's trying to now catch one guy the amount of because when i just look at it the amount of mad scenes in this film are just it's stunning like bro as i said i don't i i please please you know i'm a film actor you know that's if i say something is crap you know it's crap so when i say watch this movie for pure excitement just for pure ridiculous over the top excitement. Please watch this thing. Please watch this thing because, bro, it's one of it is one of the craziest, wildest things I've ever watched. See whether you like it or not. One thing you can't deny is that this is it's, it's bloody. It is bloody entertaining. It is incredibly entertaining. Like, of course, it's very cheesy because, bro, they make the British Empire. These guys are like devils. <laughs> now, maybe they were this bad during the time, but they make these guys appear as devils, man. Like, but, bro, you have to watch this. Like. This stuff, it's it's crazy. It is it is one of the craziest, maddest things that you'll ever see. By far. By far. One of the craziest things you've ever seen, man. So yeah. That's my super approval, man.